there's this weird thing that happens whenever you're writing software, which is the first time you write software, you're really, really slow. And it's hard because you're having to Google everything. And then you get faster and you get faster and you get faster at doing it the more, you're, the more you do it, right? Then this other thing happens, which is your enjoyment of this activity looks something more like this, where once you start learning it, your enjoyment goes up. And then you've done it long enough, and it's like your enjoyment goes down. At least this is how I view software. And so one thing that I've really found that I like is that one, having like a go-to language that you use. I know this is the hard part. You should have many go-to languages, by the way. You should really have many. You want like go-to languages. You want like two or three of them, okay? This is my personal way to software happiness, okay? Personal opinion on software happiness. You have uh, two or three languages, and you have pretty much the same thing in all things. And then when you build software, you can build it efficiently and in different ways each time. Like right now, I feel really, really happy with where I'm going with this whole, um, what do we call it? This 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 Vim, this Vim platform for developing games. My Vim Go real-time game engine is really, really exciting to be developing right now on stream, and I've really genuinely enjoyed it, okay? Is it useful? Is it awesome? Are people going to like it? Probably not. Do I understand all the pieces individually? Uh, generally, I do. But uh, I'm I'm kind of exploring how I can be really efficient with Lua, and then I'm using it as a mechanism to make Go one of my go-to languages at being fast. So it's like I got all the Go goodness. I have Lua as my base that I'm really good at, Vim as my base that I'm really good at, and TCP protocols that I'm really good at. Bad things, go. So I'm using a bunch of fun parts and a bunch of bad parts to where I don't ever kind of intersect on this one on accident. Because this is where things get really hard. You know, like when you're year three writing basic React apps and CRUD apps, it's like the sadness is right here. So like how do you how do you write more decorative and cool things? Like how do you explore deeper and harder problems? A lot of it I have to go get you know, on my own, but I kind of have like a framework for how I approach a problem. I typically don't like to approach a new problem with a new language because then I'm right here. I'll be right here. I'm just Googling everything, trying to understand, you know, and then I feel like I'm really low on the enjoyment difficulties really, really, you know, difficulties way up here, right? Because difficulty is like the inverse of productivity. And so it's like, I like one, I like w one of these to be true. Some sort of new problem, new aspect, new challenge paired with something I'm good at. And then I can really try, then I'm just learning one thing, right? And I can move fast while moving slow. It feels good. I don't know. Me personally. So I don't, I think that you have to be average all the time. I think you can solve and have a really good time if you can try to figure out how to do something like that.